The Queen's to visit York in April, the first time she's visited the city since Royal Ascot in 2005. She'll be distributing her traditional Maundy money from York Minster. Yes, her visit is, of course, part of the Diamond Jubilee tour. But, you know, it'll also help to mark the 800th anniversary of York's city charter. Here's Charlotte Leamy. Here in York in 1212, the foundations for local democracy were laid. Now, up until that point, a sheriff had always been in charge of, well, more or less everything. But then King John signed a charter. And in it, he said that the people here could rule themselves. And this city, well, it's never looked back. Yes, for the last 800 years, York's proved pretty adept at managing its own affairs. And with a £3 billion economy and 7 million visitors a year, you can understand why they're celebrating 2012 with a whole year of events. The highlight will surely be the Queen's visit in April. She last came to York for Royal Ascot in 2005, but this time she'll be greeted at Micklegate Bar, which is the traditional royal entrance to York. Well, it's exciting. It's not every day you get to meet the, the monarch. I, I met her when she came. I met her very, very briefly in 2000 when she visited the city. But obviously, uh, I'll get a little more time to, to meet her this time. Another event which was causing a ripple of excitement today was rehearsals for the Festival of Rivers in July. A flotilla of hundreds of boats will sail along the ooze and dozens of York choirs will come together to perform a specially commissioned work. We're still looking for choirs to get involved, so if you are a York-based choir and you still haven't signed up for this, please do, because it's going to be the most amazing event. Back in 1212, York found its voice for the very first time, and these singers will make sure the city's voice is heard loud and clear once again in this very special year. Charlotte Leeming, BBC Look North, York. And I guarantee, ma'am, you'll have a great time.